Hello everyone, I'm Animus J, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we are going to be talking about everything that I know about maps in Bedrock Edition. So to be clear, this is for Bedrock Edition, which is PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, Windows 10, and then any kind of mobile, tablet, phone, etc. These rules and things I'm going to go over will be different on Java Edition. Not everything is the same, unfortunately. So let's start with the basics. How do you make a map? Well, the first way to make a map is on a crafting table with a three by three grid of paper like that. You can get an empty map. If you have a cartography table, on the other hand, you can take one single piece of paper and turn it into a map, which seems like a much bigger win. One paper versus nine pieces of paper in order to make one single map. Another way that you can get some maps, you can find empty maps from cartographers at the novice level. And you can also get Woodland Explorer and various other Explorer maps off of Journeyman level cartographers. Now this is based on a percent chance and we will go over what these Explorer maps are exactly. They're similar to buried treasure maps. You can also find on a percent chance either treasure maps or normal blank maps in shipwrecks like this one. Following the treasure map to the X will lead you to a buried treasure. What you want to do is try to line up so that your pointer is right over the center of that X. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to dig downwards until you find your treasure. So in this case, I had to use a command to look for the treasure because I couldn't find it. And it is right below me right now. So you can see where my marker is in comparison to the X. And if I just dig straight down from here, there it is. And you can also find these same maps inside of strongholds and also inside of villages as well. Not just from the villagers, but inside of a cartographer's chest. So once you've made your map, you will open it up and it's going to reveal an area around you. Now, the area that it reveals is not an exact science, or rather it is an exact science. It's just not a science that can exactly be revealed to the player. So as you can see here, as much as I wish this map would have revealed my redstone school area, it's only revealed actually a corner of it and I can't even tell where I'm at. So if I I combine my map with a compass what that's going to give me is a locator map now this locator map is going to have on it my location so you can see here that I am at the bottom left of my map when you open a map it is going to be opened according to a predetermined code within the game so if I come over to this next area wait till my locator is going to be basically off of that current map and then I open another one. Now I've gotten the area next to my previous map. As you can see at the bottom left, what we're doing is we're extending it over to now the bottom right. So unfortunately, you won't be able to just get above the area that you want, open up a map and have it be the exact area. As you can see here, I wish my map was centered on me. However, it's not. If you wanted to duplicate a map, what you could do is take an empty map alongside of your already map that you want to duplicate, put it on a crafting table, and you'll come away with two of the same map. You can see here we have both map nine. You can do the same thing on the cartography table with an empty map and also the map that you want to duplicate. And then you can also do it on an anvil as well. Now, the great thing about the cartography table, on the other hand, though, is that when you're doing this, you can also name them my map and boom, there we go. Now I have two of my map. Another thing you can do is take your map on the crafting table, surround it by pieces of paper. And now I have map nine, level one of four, whereas this one 
is map 90 of 4. So this map is going to reveal to me a much larger area than what my 0 of 4 map did. So here is my 0 of 4 map and then here is my 1 of 4 map. You can see that we have a much larger area revealed to us and we can go ahead and continue increasing that in, yeah, you guessed it, 4 stages. And so here we are all the way zoomed out and as you can see it is incredibly zoomed out as my entire Minecraft redstone school area just looks like a tiny little blob on this map. Now if you're doing some work and you want your progress to be saved in different stages what you can do is put it on the cartography table you can put a glass pane on there and there you go you've locked your map. Now this map right here is never going to change. If I take this previous map right here that is not locked and I add a bunch of really cool looking diamonds in just a scattered random area so that it's going to show up on the map. There we go. You can see there's my diamonds on this map. However, if I go to my locked map, it's not there and it's never going to be there. This map will always show exactly what it had when you locked it. Now, one other thing with maps is that you can place them on top of your item frames. If your map has been given a name, it will hover that name over the map. So here is a map that I made out in the void of the end dimension just by going out to the middle of nowhere and opening the map, making sure no blocks were around. And on a Java edition, you've probably seen your favorite YouTubers make these things called infinity rooms. And this is how you would do it. Evidently, I somehow caught one single block in there, but regardless, this is how you would do it. But the problem is on bedrock edition, your item frames cannot be stacked together in the same square space. So this one is on the ground. I cannot, no matter how hard I click, put one into any of these spots. And this one is because there's an item frame here, so I cannot share one over here. So unfortunately on Bedrock, those really cool infinity rooms that you see your favorite YouTuber doing on Java Edition, yeah. I'm sorry guys, it's just not going to be possible. Well, that's it for today's video. That is everything that I know about maps in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Do you know something that I don't? Or do you know something that I left out or maybe forgot? Let me know down in the comments. That's it for today though guys. I'm Animus J. I'll see you in the next video.